Hello and welcome to the studio today. I want to ask you this question. Do you ever feel dry spiritually? Do you ever feel like your life has become barren, it's not producing, and, and you, just, you just feel so spiritually dead? You know, when that happens in our life, God has a plan. God wants to revive us. He wants to get life flowing through us again. In the book of Isaiah chapter 35, we read this. The parched ground shall become a pool and the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of jackals where each lay, there shall be grass with reeds and rushes. A highway shall be there and a road and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those. Whoever walks the road, although a fool shall not stray, no lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast go on it. It shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. One of the problems that we're facing in our nation today is the coldness and the, the emptiness in the body of Christ, in the church. Oh, as I was driving into the church today, I noticed that instead of the parched brown lawns that we've been seeing for weeks because of the dryness of the weather, they were lush and green. Because in the last week or so, we've had plenty of rain. And it only took the rain to bring forth the lushness of growth again. What is it going to take to bring America to the place where the church will once again be that lush green field that God intended us to be so that the world can see and know that there is a God in heaven who loves us and cares for us. Do you realize that the lions are walking today because the church has abandoned the highway of holiness? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Oh, if the body of Christ would begin to cry out to the Lord and say, God, we need rivers of living water. We need the, the mountain streams to flow in our life again. We need to see the waterfalls of the water joyously bubbling over the rocks because the church is alive and well. And out of the church comes songs of victory and, and uh, no fear, but the the abundance of joy that God has promised to his children. If you in your life have felt empty and barren, then I say to you today, cry out to the Lord. Say, Lord, let the rains come upon my life. The Bible speaks about the early and the latter rains. The church desperately needs the latter rains today, where God will renew and revive us once again. Revive thy work, O Lord, we pray. And as you cry out to God to revive your heart personally, then you will begin that waterfall that will come through the whole body of Christ as one after another of us begin to seek the face of God and cry out, Lord, come in your fullness until the rivers begin to flow once again. I encourage you today, if you feel dry and barren, then get before God and cry out to the Lord and say, God, we need the rains on our life again. We need the waterfalls again. Lord, let your spirit come and fill us and overflow in our lives that the rivers will begin to flow. And this world that desperately needs to know the power and presence of God will once again see the church alive and vital and real in this world that desperately needs the water of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, let the river begin to flow in the church once again, for we ask it in Christ's